Isn't it wonderful that the people of Jesus' time could see such miracles, that their lives were changed, that God's power and love and mercy were revealed? What about now? John 14 verse 12 reads, Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. Does that mean that if we believe in God, we are also expected to perform miracles? Our faith leads us to do things which make a positive difference in people's lives. It calls upon us to depend on the power of God and to pray for people. God does answer prayer, sometimes in very surprising ways. We may hesitate at the idea of Jesus saying, they will do even greater things than these, but many people have experiences of times when really amazing things have happened. A key part of this verse is at the end when John tells us that Jesus says, because I am going to the Father. This points to the ascension. Jesus ascended to be with the Father, which meant that God the Holy Spirit could come on the disciples at Pentecost. The power of the Spirit led those early followers of Jesus to do miraculous things in his name. And God the Holy Spirit is still active in the world today. We saw Janet Crossley being presented with a certificate from Christian Aid to thank her as she steps back from the role for 25 years of commitment and hard work on their behalf. This certificate was going to be presented to her today at Mount Bren, and so it seemed a good idea to include it in this service instead. What Janet said was that she couldn't have done it on her own. The certificate, she said, was for others who'd worked with her also. And together, following God's way, they have been able to raise a lot of funds and transform many people's lives. And I know that Janet is grateful for those who will ensure that that work continues. Christian A's message for this week is, love never fails. Coronavirus impacts all of us, but love unites us all. God in Jesus calls us to work together, to allow the Spirit to lead us and to empower us in whatever way is needed, to follow Jesus whom we know as our way, our truth and our life, in that living relationship which he offers. What Jesus did through his miracles was to care for people, to bring them healing and food and the help that they needed. Our desire to care for others is a natural response to our faith in God through Jesus as we are equipped by the Spirit. We recognise the value of life and of people, all people, whoever they are. God fills us with love and moves us with compassion when we see a need so that we are led to act. As we put others' needs before our own, without counting the cost, so we are doing what Jesus did. As we share the life-giving love of God in the way that we live and speak of God who is merciful and welcoming, so we do what Jesus did. It has been noticeable how many people are doing things to contribute and make a difference in response to the pandemic from shopping for neighbours to producing PPE for carers and more. Today, at the beginning of Christian Aid Week, we may think specifically about how the work of Christian Aid seeks to follow the way of Jesus, offering support and comfort, inviting local partner organisations into relationships which lead to new possibilities for those who are able to engage with the projects concerned. As an organisation, Christian Aid offers each of us an easy way to get involved with the work of God. This is something of what it means to be part of the body of Christ. As we share our resources and trust those who have the organisation and ability to make a difference where it is needed, I encourage you to think about what contribution you may be able to make to continue supporting Christian Aid's work. There are some interesting resources signposted from the news section of our circuit website, including a video which shows some of the work that the local Christian aid group has supported in Ghana. The ascension also means that Jesus is the one through whom we can pray. 
Jesus speaks of giving glory to God through the answering of prayers as part of the work of God in the world. He speaks of those who have faith in him doing what he has been doing. He speaks of people seeing God as they see him. As we travel through the Easter season towards Pentecost, we reflect on God who is with us in the dark times and who brings us into light, offering us hope for the future. But this is about more than God being with us. One thing which constantly amazes me about God is that not only did he step into creation in Jesus, lead us back to him and give us the Holy Spirit to accompany us, but that God also invites us to get involved in his work. God trusts us with the lives of others. He puts us into places where we can make a real difference and then he lets us get on with it, making our own choices and decisions as to whether to do things God's way or ours. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing, says Jesus. What does our faith lead us to? At a time when we realise again how precious life is, when the truth is constantly being questioned, and when we are having to find a new way of doing things, at this time when many are wondering what comes next, let us remember to look to God. As we seek to follow his way, as we allow our love for and understanding of God through Jesus to guide our every step, so God will be active, not only in but through our lives, and others may gain glimpses of the glory of God, his mercy, his welcome, his love, and the promise of healing for themselves. Thanks be to God for revealing to us the way, the truth, and the life.